I was first introduced to the character of Robin in 2003 in Cartoon Network's hit show, Teen Titans. Seeing this boy wonder kick ass and take names inspired me as a child, showing that someone even of my age could be a hero. To put it bluntly, I was enamored by Robin. I loved everything about him, his costume design, his history, and even his fighting style. Growing up, my favorite superhero was Robin. And delving more into his history, I was so excited to see not only that did he work with my other favorite superhero, Batman, but he also had more than one person take on that persona. Robin was created in April of 1940. His original purpose was intended to bring younger kids into the comic book audience by making a smaller, lighter, and more funny version of Batman that he could fight alongside. So they went with a child. Robin did exactly what they wanted. He got new kids into the comic books and he was critically acclaimed as one of the best sidekicks of all time. Over time, however, as comics got more complex, they started to delve into this character more. Dick Grayson got upset at Batman and became Nightwing. The second Robin, Jason Todd, was killed and then resurrected later to become the anti-hero known as the Red Hood. Tim Drake ultimately becomes Red Robin to search for Batman once he is presumably killed. Though my favorite thing about Robin is that he is an anchor. In a world where there are mass criminals who murder countless civilians and a Batman who is nearly on the edge of being insane every single day, the only thing that keeps him in check is Robin. Robin has always been there for Batman. Even in his darkest times, Robin has always been there as Batman's guidance, as Batman's son, and sometimes as Batman's friend. All Robins are skilled in one thing or the other, which is usually why Batman picks them. Dick Grayson is insanely good at acrobatics. Jason Todd is an, a skilled fighter. Tim Drake is a great detective. At this point, it's even unfair to put Robin in the sidekick category, for he's almost transcended that with such a beautiful passion. He's got an immense fan base that would all love to see him done correctly on the screen, and everybody clamoring for more Robin. That is the one thing that you hear of all these DC rumors, is people want a Robin. And people would not want a Robin if they thought that he was silly, or they thought that he was not needed. Robin inspires people, particularly young children, to be who they want to be, that even though you are young, you are not defenseless. And I think that is what a hero is supposed to do. Mm -hmm.